Driving around the hardest hit Little Rock neighborhood, some progress has been made since the tornado, but much of it still looks like the same it did that day the tornado touched down. People who live there say the mess makes it hard to move on from what was a very traumatic experience. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Laura Monteverdi. Hello, good evening, everybody. I'm Bob Kloss. And unfortunately for those who live in those areas, cleaning up has proven to be a lot harder than expected. Caroline Derby joining us now live in Little Rock this evening. Caroline, there are a lot of reasons why some of these properties haven't been rebuilt. Walk us through what some of them may be. Bob and Laura, it ranges from problems with insurance companies to out-of-state investors not taking care of property here. Locals want change and the city says they're doing what they can to hold these places accountable. I knew that it would take a while. Um, but I didn't know the battles that we would have to wind up facing in order to get the progress that we have gotten. Now one year since the March 31st, 2023 tornado. Neighborhoods like Walnut Valley, the Reservoir Road area, and more are still facing setbacks when it comes to restoring property to its former glory. The Walnut Valley area, we immediately... Dylan Bevel-Smith, Little Rock local and secretary of the Walnut Valley Homeowners Association, says they've been battling problems he feels like should already be taken care of. Insurance is a huge issue. Uh, we, we have a handful of residents who still haven't got a single penny from their insurance companies. Currently, we have a lot of out-of-state investors who have purchased properties who are leaving them completely unattended. Uh, it's infuriating. Ward 4 City Director Cappy Peck says the city has cited these entities and are now in the next phase of trying to hold them accountable. We are in the process of, of finding people. Uh, the big challenge will be these out-of-state entities that really don't care. They say they are worried that it could end up in environmental court, which Peck doesn't want to happen. It's going to be a slow process. and. What I really, truly dread are those that will not be responsive no matter what. Bevel Smith says the neighborhood has been through enough already and is ready for a long-awaited change. We want to uh, be able to have more homes built up, not just for property values, but we want to see our neighbors come back. They say these vacant properties are also bringing looters to the area even one year after the tornado. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Caroline Derby, KRK4 News.